Well, there's plenty to be looking at in WoW today. I have stayed 100% clear of Traders Post spoilers for the first time ever. I don't know a single thing apart from the uh, the armor sets, you know, the uh, what I like to call the armor augmentation sets that are going to be on there. I don't know the actual, like, I don't know what's on there. Um, and of course, today is the first day of uh, Secrets of Azeroth. It was supposed to be yesterday in the EU, but they uh, hotfixed it to be today instead. Um, so it's it's like a, an exciting day for WoW. Plus, we have this leak. We have this leak to look at. Are you ready? Are you ready for WoW leaks? Are you ready for 11.0 expansion leaks? Because it is leak season, and that's what we're going to do. Tides of Plunder is the leak. Do we want to look at this? Are you... Now, I feel like I need to put a red bot spoiler button for this, because I don't want to give away the entire next expansion without warning people about it. But I've lost my red bot spoiler bot. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Sorry. Tides of plunder. Now, like I say, we don't need, we don't need to look at any leaks because I've already predicted next expansion in our video on the subject. I've predicted every single facet of that. I've noticed since I made that video, Belilar has made about three videos on the subject, all basically copying my idea. In fact, I've noticed Belilar copying a lot of my videos recently. I've noticed Belilar basically using my videos as the basis of his videos recently. When you've got to get that fucking, like, content out, man, you've got to get that content out. But there it is, right? <laughs> um, uh, so, like, here is the actual fucking video. Uh, the, sorry, the actual fucking leak. This is it. This is the real leak. This is more leak, uh, more leak than any leak we've had before. This is the leak. Tides of plunder. This is the real leak, no dicking around. Now, I haven't read this, but just judging by the title, I'm imagining that it's a kind of, because there are, there are, there are a number of things, number of things towards making a good leak, okay? Uh, a good, a good uh, MMO champion leak. There's a number of important facets that go towards creating a good leak, okay? And this is one of them. You've got to have, you know, it's got to draw on a number of things. It's got to draw on things that the community already thinks is true, you know? like So the, the community already thinks that we're going kind of like seafaring, right? That's what the community thinks, by and large. So that's what it will be in this leak, okay? And you know, the community thinks that because it's based on bits of evidence that, you know, we've pointed out on this channel and other people point out on other channels and things like that. So that's good. Now, if they're very smart, what they do is they take some very specific predictions from prominent creators and just maybe switch them up a tiny bit but put those in there to play to the egos of those creators so that they feature the leak on their channels. That's the real, like, 7D play, that one. It's not just enough that you, you use ideas from the community and you kind of, like, play on what the community already believes to be true. The really clever ones take bits of specific content creators uh, predictions and contents and just makes that sound believable so i would imagine that there's probably some uh elements from my video uh on the subject uh the the, the big prediction video about 11.0 and i'd imagine there's probably ideas from belly in there as well if it's a smart leak that's what they'll do so let's have a look sorry if it was a smart fake leak that's what they would do but obviously this is a real leak uh, and, and so, you know, anything goes. From a Chinese leaker, of course. Obviously. Of course it is. From a Chinese leaker on 4chan who guessed both Shadowlands and Dragonflight months before it was announced. Two problems with this leak already. Can anyone spot them? Just from the, from the line that we've read so far. It's real. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, yeah. So, my suspicious hat, right? My suspicious hat says, from a Chinese leaker on 4chan. Now, we all know the Chinese leaker he's talking about. We all know the Chinese leaker he's talking about. If I was writing this sentence, I would say, from the Chinese leaker on 4chan. That's all. That's all. This is only a tiny little thing, right? This is a tiny, tiny little detail but it immediately made my suspicions flare up. If I was writing this sentence, we all know who, this, who the person we're talking about is here. We all know the leaker in question, the famous leaker in question. I would say the Chinese leaker, not a Chinese leaker. Now that is only a tiny little thing. It's just a personal thing that made me go, hmm, 
right? Uh, maybe the person is not natively English. Exactly. Exactly. But the other thing I would note is where's the link? If this really is from the Chinese leaker on Reddit, and if you really have read it on Reddit, where's the fucking link? W wouldn't that be the obvious thing to include? Where's the link to this fucking Reddit post? You can't link to 4chan anymore. It's illegal. What? <laughs> Reload the page. Oh, wait, is it there now? Oh, banned. Banned. It was so real it got deleted. Man, I, I refuse there was ever, I refuse to believe there was ever a link in this post. Ever. <laughs> this leak didn't get deleted. It was never there. You know it. I know it. But let's give the benefit of the doubt since it is a real leak, right? So let's imagine that there was in fact a, le a link in this, uh, in this article, which we will never know. Never know. World of Warcraft. Tides of Plunder. New Continent. Avaloran. West of Kalimdor. Expansion's final boss is a new old god. So far, so everything everyone has predicted forever. <laughs> They're doing very well here, right? Six new zones. New Continent. Avaloran. West of Kalimdor. Yes, I know. You, you just said that. The first raid is a pirate fleet on open waters. One of the bosses is a pirate sha shit. Sorry. That's <laughs> Freudian slip there. One of the bosses is a pirate ship battle. A modern version of ICC gunship. It'd have to be a pretty fucking modern version, wouldn't it? I'm just saying it'd have to be a very, very fucking modern version. That's all I'm saying. It'd have to be outrageously modern. Holy fuck. Can you imagine? Dear God. No one ever enjoyed the ICC gunship, right? That's not just me. No one enjoys the ICC gunship, right? That's not something we pretend... Surely that's not something even nostalgia goggles have, have like, improved. Uh, pirate ship battle will seem pretty boring compared to our impending dragon riding air battle. Mm, well, let's, let's give the man some time, okay? Zones. Avaloran Shores. Like the Waking Shores. Whispering Caverns. Frost Peak Highlands. <laughs> Celestial Glade. This is the Dragon Isles. <laughs> guys, good news. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. I heard you like Dragon Isles. <laughs> I heard you really like the Dragon Isles. I heard you think Dragon Flight is a good expansion. So the good news is we're just doing it again. Uh, it really is. Uh, this is like Dragon Isles part one, two, and uh, part two and three. What I find really funny about this leak is that Mr. GM once asked uh, ChatGPT to write him a WoW expansion about pirates, and ChatGPT made an expansion called Tides of Plunder. <laughs> How much time someone spends just to create this bullshit? Well, I mean, it's honestly, honestly, this like like we just say this this could easily be an ai bot in fairness who even fucking knows there's about as much kind of like humanity and personality in this leak as you know in the average chat bot <laughs> this leak better mention sylvanas this leak is dead to ibrahim ibrahim doesn't give a fuck about this leak there's no no sylvanas no party when it comes to these leaks exactly Kind of wish Firak could escape and start a fire pirate crew. Holy shit, that'd be amazing. I'd, I'd buy that. Well, I'd, I'd buy any expansion anyway, because I'm such a shill. Soft world revamp of EK and Kalimdor. All assets are updated to new HD versions. World quests in many old zones for both leveling characters and max level characters. Account wide renown. There's already account wide renown. Oh, no, there's not actually, is there? No, you're right. No, no, I take it back. I take it back. Sorry. New factions. Pirates. Naga. Explorers. New archaeology system. Oh, that's how I know this is a fake leak. Sorry, everyone. No. Sorry. Pack it up. Take it home. Knock it on the head. Revealed. Exposed. This is the fakest leak we've ever read. New archaeology? Fuck off, mate. Never happening. Never, 
Never happening. Firek is my favorite baddie. I'll make the most of him, friend, because I don't think he's sticking around much longer than 10.2. <laughs> Uh, there's a distinct lack of a new shiny thing, a box feature like Evokers. Yeah, exactly. New pirate tavern mini games such as dice games, card games, drinking games against players or NPCs. That sounds like the kind of thing they would do, honestly. New weather system, fierce storms and turbulent seas. One of the six zones is a massive cavern similar to Zaralek. have shat a better fake leak than this. Sorry. Um, Dragon Rising expanded to, curry, uh, to to many current flying mounts. Like, why would you even include this? Why would you even include this as part of a... How is this? A, this isn't a leak. This is literally just what they've said will happen. <laughs> and what we've already seen happening. Why have... Why would you include this as part of a leak? Why would you do that? Just because you know it's going to happen, so it makes it sound more believable, right? Insane. Insane. Uh, the Whispering Caverns. Oh my god. Uh, no. It's a really late Dragonflight leak. Yeah! <laughs> this is just a Dragonflight leak where they put- they, they scheduled it for the wrong year. That's all. <laughs> they just scheduled this two years late by mistake. No, this leak is absolute bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm really sorry, everyone. This is, uh, this is not a real leak. What can I say? Now, there are things I, I, I think are quite good about this leak. In, in terms of, like, creating a fake leak, right? I think the one good thing they've done here is the new Pirate Tavern mini games, such as dice games, card games, drinking games against players or NPCs. That's just the kind of, like, you know, world content that I could see them putting in. Definitely. Definitely. That's the kind of thing. Like, that is the one compelling good idea in this leak. The one thing that I would, I, I would think to myself, oh, yeah, that is the kind of thing they would do. I'm someone saying there's no, like, uh, kind of big shiny feature about the, uh, the expansion. I guess if you, were, if you were trying to argue in favour of it, if you are trying to steel man it, you'd say uh, that the big shiny feature would be the, um, uh, the soft revamp. You know, soft world revamp of EK and Kalimdor. And by soft, they mean, you know, not like re uh, landscaping it, not restructuring it or anything like that. Just adding, like replacing the assets with newer, shinier assets, right? Uh, fake leaks always got to include something that was obvious data mined. Like I remember all the leaks included the BFA cloth armor uh, when it got data mined. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. It makes perfect sense. How are you going to have a pirate expansion without ninjas? My question to you. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. This is such a fake leak. Real shame. Real shame. Are there any other fake leaks on there at the moment? Tides of Plunder, doing very well. Replies four. Uh, so disappointed. It's about the community that play the game. Okay, right. Oh, 11.0 prediction, not a leak. No, no, I need, I need leaks, man. Totally legit leak of two upcoming expansions and more. Okay. I definitely shouldn't be telling you this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but my best friend's cousin Psychic spoke to the ghost of a re recently deceased bartender who served drinks to a member of the WoW development team. When he was drunk, he spilled the beans about the next WoW expansions. This is as legit as leaks get. First, there are two completely new expansions coming. One for retail and one for classic. Due to the feedback of a large amount of players not liking the cosmic aspect of retail, they're taking classic in a different direction. WoW Classic is an alternate universe where they stay more down to Azeroth. They're using existing resources from retail to help cut... Wait, 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 wait. Why would they do this instead of Cataclysm? There's no cosmic shit in Cataclysm at all. People didn't like all the cosmic shit 
So instead of doing Cataclysm, which is set entirely in the old world, <laughs> we're doing a new one for Classic. Holy fuck. Um, wow Classic is an alternate universe where they stay more down to Azeroth. They're using existing res uh, resources from retail to help cut costs and development time to make this more believable. I haven't thought of any more details. I mean, my friend didn't hear any more details about this. Next to the details of 11.0, in a shocking and unexpected twist, this will be a void expansion and the largest expansion yet. The old world is being completely revamped. Okay, I've got to ask you, just because this is this is something that the the, uh, the internet has decided is going to happen, right? I'm going to start a poll. Who actually thinks there's going to be a world revamp next expansion? And, you know, world revamp can mean whatever you want it to mean. Like, world revamp can be whatever your definition of a world revamp is. Uh, I'm starting the poll now. Let us know what you think. Is there going to be a world revamp next expansion? Maybe Old God was a typo. The boss is an old dog. Yeah. I like the term down to Azeroth as well. Yeah. Although it sounds a bit sexy. It sounds like the kind of thing I might, like, you know, sidle up to Evie on our anniversary and, and be like, hey, Evie, you down to Azeroth tonight? <laughs> Overall, people don't seem to think there's going to be a world revamp, apparently. Overwhelming majority don't appear to think there's going to be a world revamp in this expansion. I, I have to say I agree. The one, okay, so I say use any definition of world revamp that you like. There you go. 72% say no, which is a landslide by anyone's standards. So I said use any definition of, of world revamp that you like. The one thing I would not count as a world revamp that some of you may who would have answered yes, would be what they did with Stromgard. I wouldn't count what they did with Stromgard as a soft world revamp. You know, like using a zone for a piece of story and specifically revamping that zone in the old world, that's not what I would count as a revamp. You know, I would, I would like it to be like a feature. Well, that's why I didn't say that before the voting, Commander Crano, because I wanted the yeses to get as many votes as they possibly could. I wanted to steel man the yes votes. And even then, even then, with people including things that I wouldn't actually count as a soft world revamp, the yes is lost by a landslide. So I, I, I wouldn't actually count what they, because if they, if you do count Stromgard as a soft world revamp, then you would have to say that BFA featured a soft world revamp. Would you say B would you say one of the features of BFA was a soft world revamp? Because I wouldn't. And when I'm listing the the features of BFA, I wouldn't say, oh, there was a soft world revamp. No, there wasn't. So obviously I'm not going to count something which is exactly the same as that as a soft world revamp, right? Uh, and that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like I wouldn't have called BFA a soft world revamp, so I wouldn't count reworking like a zone for current story to be a soft world revamp because I didn't when they did that. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, Rathi, basing graphics wise were almost entirely updated. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But that's not even a that's not that's not a world revamp. That's an instance revamp. You know, Rathi Basin isn't in the open world. It's a, it's an instance. So that's yeah, you know. Um, but uh, most people don't think there's going to be a world revamp. And I've got to admit, I don't think there's going to be a world revamp either. Uh, Fell Plague has apparently sent me some more leaks. Fell Plague, I thank you. I thank you for the extra leaks. Let's have a look. World of Warcraft, the Brums of Aral Avaloran. I mean, already this one sounds 100% legit. This one already sounds a million percent legit. What's a brum? Well, have patience, child, and find out, for the leak shall tell us. I just don't know how pirate-themed expansion could distinct itself uh, from BFA, but whatever. What's your opinion? So I don't, I don't think it's going to be a pirate expansion. Um, as I've said in, in, in my very extensive video on the subject, which I believe was like the first big 11.0 predictions video that found its way uh, out, um, I... The pirates will be there, but I, I don't think you would call what I think 11.0 is going to be a pirate expansion. More than that, it's an exploration expansion, you know? More than that, it's like a, it's a new world's expansion, you know? It's, it's like a, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a Christopher Columbus expansion.
So sailing and seafaring is a big part of that. And where you have that, you have pirates, of course. But the pirates isn't the main focus. The main focus is the exploration. Does that make sense? Yeah, same way Legion distinguished itself from the Burning Crusade, far more focused. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and I think, you know, for me... I think they'll be aiming for, you know, when 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 people talk about the expansion, it won't be the pirate expansion. It will be... And I think people will call it the pirate expansion, like people call BFA the PvP expansion when it was first announced. Do you remember that? When BFA was first announced, people were like, so it's a PvP expansion. And, you know, it didn't matter how much we told them no. Listen, <laughs> let me explain it to you. It didn't matter. People still called it the PvP expansion, right? And, and you know, so people will call it the pirate expansion at first, but they will be wrong. It will be the exploration expansion. Um, kind of, yeah, but then Kulturis would have been the perfect uh, faction for it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, I dare say we would see lots of Kulturans in the expansion for sure. For sure. Oh, a, a Brums just sounds like a bad translation of Brooms. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, probably. Uh, let me just uh, get my game back on there. Get my thing back up. Right. Okay. Sorry, I've been distracting from this very, very real uh, leak here. <laughs> I'm sharing with you guys. They go in to release it. Go they go in to release in the next BlizzCon. Well, this is big news, fam. We've all been predicting a new expansion reveal next BlizzCon. But we've all been wrong. We've all been underestimating Blizzard. No wonder... No wonder... Uh... John Height was so excited about this shit because it's not just a new expansion reveal, it's a new expansion release during BlizzCon. Chris Metzen's going to be up there like, Horde, let me hear you say, for the Horde! Game, give me a for the Alliance! And this expansion, nerds, we're not just revealing this expansion today, we're releasing it! Oh, you can go home and play it right now. Oh, holy shit. It will feature a new continent from the other side of Azeroth, Avaloran. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> a lot of pirate content in the beginning with the return of island expeditions. The story will be a about a lot of outcasts that left the Titans behind and some boiling new old gods. A boiling new old god. Cool. One new class, Witch Doctor, at first for all the races that have access to Shaman. <laughs> okay, one. There's not going to be a new class next expansion. There's no, we, there's no way we're getting two new classes in two expansions. Absolutely not. Just not. No, no, no. Afraid not. Sorry, everyone. No new class next expansion would be my prediction. Um... And if it is an exploration... Okay, so here's the thing, right? Now, Blizzard have been through some shit in the day. They've, they've gone through a massive scandal, okay? So, you know, we're in this weird stage with Blizzard now where not only are Blizzard basically staffed by a bunch of, like, really cool progressive people right now and, uh, like... Team 2 are an incredibly diverse bunch. Not as diverse as they could be, but, you know, they, they're they really diverse. They've got a lot of really cool people in that team who... Are, and, and, you know, you can see that coming through in Dragonflight and in the writing for Dragonflight. And I think that's brilliant. I think it makes the game better. I think it makes any kind of franchise better. Having, like different voices from different kind of backgrounds and experiences and and yeah some people would call them woke because they are diverse like the mere existence of people who aren't white is woke right so yeah that whatever and like that's natural that's that's there anyway right but then you've got this rather unnatural thing on top of that which kind of like uh very much magnifies it which is the fact that blizzard have come out the other side of a massive fucking scandal recently okay so they've got to be extra wary of anything that could be interpreted interpreted as being like uh bigoted or um uh you know like not incredibly progressive basically you know more so than other companies blizzard have to be super careful of you know presenting anything which could be interpreted as being like uh um 
uh, misogynistic or or xenophobic or you know drawing on cultural like bad cultural stereotypes or things like that like wow and blizzard in particular but wow in particular as well has to be absolutely like just like incredible more aware than basically anyone else and you know that's their own fault right if you don't like that, if you think that spoils fun, don't blame don't blame the wokes. Blame like the people who did all the bad shit at Blizzard, right? It makes sense, right? They're basically on parole right now for for bigoted shit. Um, and like you know, there are some fucking pitfalls in an expansion where you are basically kind of like you know representing the age of discovery and colonialism. If you are doing a age of discovery kind of uh like expansion where you're going to the new world the things that you are going to want to avoid if you are blizzard and you are on parole for bigotry <laughs> and filth which they are uh you are going to want to avoid the bad things about like european colonialism in the new world in the 17th century right <laughs> <laughs> like you are going to want to avoid those things and so one of the things that falls under that category is like cultural stereotypes and unfortunately i can't see going to the new world and exploring the new world and there being fucking witch doctors there i can't see that passing the fucking blizzard or on parole like you know gut test honestly I can't, I can't see it passing that shit, but that's the fun stuff. Like I say, man, don't blame the wokes, blame the people that like put Blizzard on parole. Blame the people that ruined it for everyone. If Blizzard has to be super careful about this stuff now, it's not the wokes fault. It's the people that did all the bad shit. Uh, one sec. Hi. What are you doing? Where's mummy? Sorry guys, uh, I'm just going BRB. Hi, hi. Okay, sorry, mummy was having a poo, so uh, Annie just came up to the office to say hello. And, uh, and, and he was just hanging around outside the door. I heard, I heard like this scratching outside the door. I was like, oh my God, is there a mouse outside? And I opened the door and it was, um, it was Annie. It was Annie, Annie was there. And he's been, the, the scratching sound was uh, all the paint that he's ripped off the door on the other side of the office. Uh, hey, buddy. So thanks for that, I guess. Hey, I love you, you beautiful boy. You are not in trouble, don't worry. No, that's okay. I'm just you are not there. in trouble. I love having you up here. Oh, my darling. You're always welcome up here, my darling. You're always welcome up here. You know that. You know you are. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Do you want to say hello to stream? Yeah. Can you look at the camera and say hello? Hello. Can you say hello, everyone? Hello, everyone. Can you say Twitch Prime? Twitch Prime. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey, baby. Penny <laughs> will be awake soon and then we'll go outside, okay? Yeah. Oh, I love you, darling. Oh, Do you want to go back down with Mummy? Yeah. Hey, I've got a really good mission for you. Can you go down with Mummy and make me a coffee and then bring it back up? Yeah. Yeah? Should Can you do, do that? Together? Yeah. Do you want to take my mug down with you? Here you go. My Very mate. special mission. Can you go down okay. with mummy and get me coffee? Mm -hmm. And when you come up, I'll give you a big couple as reward. Okay, so let's go, Angel. Okay. Ready? I love okay. you. See you soon, Daddy. Let me help you down. I'll leave the door open so you don't have to open it again when you come up. Go first, though. I don't know if you can see all the paint on my door. <laughs> He's just like <laughs> ripped it all off. He was just like, he was just sitting outside my door, ripping off all the paint. It's just paint, who cares? I, imagine my surprise, imagine my shock. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, like, WoW draws from lots of real life cultures, okay? Now, the thing was, when WoW drew from all of those real life cultures, um, they... Well, there's there's an obvious there's an obvious problem straight away, which you'll spot if you've got a big brain. The obvious problem straight away is when you do what WoW does, which is all of the, like the human races and the human adjacent races and the good noble races are all kind of drawn from Western European culture. 
and all of the literal monsters and beasts are drawn from non-white European culture. Okay, so that's just a very obvious one straight off the bat, which makes you go, hmm. And when it happens in fantasy all the time, you start to go, ah, the humans are always recognizably Eastern European in their culture, their castles and their knights and their things like that. And then the monsters, the literal subhumans, the literal non-humans are drawn from like South American culture or African culture or things like that, right? So that's an obvious problem straight away, which I'd like to think you can appreciate, even if you don't agree with it, you know, even if you don't think it's a big deal, you can at least recognize it, right? Further than that, in WoW's case, WoW draws from lots of real life cultures and does do that thing where, you know, the humans are noticeably kind of white European culture and the monsters are noticeably not white European culture. But also you've got to remember that when they, when they made all of these cultures and when they drew from all of these cultures, it wasn't in most cases anyone from those cultures doing it. It was a bunch of like white dudes in their 20s from California. So when they, they thought they were drawing from those cultures, but what they were actually drawing from was their own very, very shallow knowledge of those cultures as white 20 something Californians, right? So what they were drawing from wasn't actually those cultures. What they were actually drawing from was stereotypes. And quite often the stereotypes that we have of foreign cultures um, as like white people of, of like European descent are harmful stereotypes derived from colonialism and, and Victorian times, which are like specifically designed to make other cultures seem less uh, progressed and less uh, kind of intelligent and less kind of civilized, which is what happened in this case. Sorry. It's your coffee. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> Sorry about your door. Don't. That's, who cares? It's only paint. <laughs> And it's on the correct side. If paint has to come off one side, I'd rather it was that side. Do you know what I mean? Is, is Annie okay? Yeah, he's good. Okay. There are two ways of going about it, right? One way is if you're going to draw from real life cultures, don't draw from cliches of those cultures. Draw from the actual real life cultures, which is not something which happens really very well in WoW. They've got a lot better of it, uh, with it in recent years, of course. The Tuscar and the Zandalari, great examples of that, right? You know, like those are two more recent examples of it in WoW. And they were like, yo, we're gonna, let's do this properly. Let's actually get loads of people from those cultures to advise. And, and, and that's brilliant. That's amazing. Of course, the best thing to do is, have, is to have diverse voices in your team in the first place. Um, because that's just more interesting, right? I also get uh, where they're coming from. Human and Western culture are stuff we already know. Well, we as European, white Europeans know, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but can you imagine, like, can you see how frustrating it must be from someone of like, say, South American uh, descent to always see their culture in fantasy represented by literal monster races? Can you see how that might just like wear you down after a while? Can you see how that might just get a little bit boring after a while? It's like, how come the humans are always fucking like Europeans? And how come the monsters are always my culture? <laughs> like, can you see how that would get to you a little bit? You know? And not only that, how come it's always like some really shit shallow version of my culture? My rich, interesting, amazing culture. And it's reduced to, for example witch doctors and human sacrifices and lizard men and stuff like that. Exactly, exactly. And that's what brought us to this conversation is, is that, you know, yeah, I think that if Blizzard were going to go and do an expansion where it's the new world and the age of discovery, they would want to avoid uh, glorifying or glamorizing any of the colonialism, <laughs> right? You Like, you don't want to glorify colonialism if you're doing that kind of expansion because colonialism sucks and it genocided millions of people. Um, and it, it's, it's really bad, especially if you're on parole for shit behavior like Blizzard are. That's my issue with the witch doctor as a new class anyway. Sorry. Uh, someone asked me to explain it. I explained it. I hope you don't mind the tangent. It was a genuine question from chat. Anyway, two, two new races at first. Jinyu for ally and Hosen for the horde. Can you imagine being Horde and not getting Jin? You, you spew, that'd suck. <laughs> uh, four new zones at the start, but with three more that will be unlocked, uh, unlocked in future patches. I don't think we'd ever know anything about future patches in a leak. Uh, 
Uh, we have a lot of contact with ogre and uh, Rykul tribes. A potential new races later. Account-wide reputations with renown for the account. Crafted system can be expanded with a lot of cosmetics. Uh, potential release date during summer 2024. So some very uh, easily guessable stuff there. Um, and I mean, yeah, you can see the theme of all these leaks really, right? While the 20th anniversary expansion has been planned since Legion. Okay, I mean, I'm going to have to say X for doubt on this one. Uh, with some actual work on it having begun around 2017, it's only been in full development since 2021. Warlords Dranor, the last big anniversary expansion, was not given enough time to really celebrate Warcraft like intended, and Hour of Twilight is intended to remedy Hour of Twilight? Okay, so that was our leak season video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed going through those leaks. Uh, glad that's over. <laughs> okay, no, look, fine. Since this is a real leak, we'll give it the we'll give it the attention it deserves, all right? Premise. After the events of Dragonflight, the hour of twilight is finally happening, despite the failure of Nazoth. Wait, I feel like this is literally copy-pasted from a leak from last year before Dragonflight. I feel like I read and look, being a YouTuber, being a streamer, I feel like I've read enough of these leaks at this stage. I feel like this one is literally copy pasted from another one so far, you know, with some, with some slight changes. Ah, uh, the main enemies are Zalatath and Ashara, who both share equal spots as the greatest threats to Azeroth at this point, being the first expansion with two main distinct enemies. A, I wouldn't say Zalatath and Ashara are distinct enemies. I'd say they are very, very fucking linked. I would say they are incredibly fucking linked. You tell me, like, oh, this this expansion features Ashara and Zalatath. I'm like, whoa! Two ends of the spectrum there. They are so distinct. Funny thing about these leaks, why isn't Iridicron mentioned on any of these? Good fucking shout, Ibrahim. We're at the stage now where any expansion worth its salt, any fake ex uh, expansion uh, leak worth its salt, certainly has to include... Iridicron in some way. I think we're going to deal with Iridicron in this expansion, but if I was writing a fake leak, you better bet your ass I'd include Iridicron in it for sure. Absolutely. Uh, I think we'll deal with Firak. Um, I'm kind of like, I think we will deal with Iridicron, this expansion, but I would rate the chances of it at about 70%. I'd say there's like a 30% chance that Iridicron goes into next expansion. I don't know. And if he, if he does go into next expansion, I could see him being like a Gul'dan where he's, uh, yeah, he's like first or second raid. Uh, is it already leak season? Dude, we are now only two months away from BlizzCon. You better fucking believe we're in leak season. Uh... As Azeroth is attacked from dimensional rifts and from the seas, new allies are sought out from Outland for the greatest struggle this world has seen. Okay. There are six new zones at launch. Three of them take place on Karesh, and three are in the South Seas. On Karesh... Right. I don't think we'll ever have a, a, a like, cataclysm thing where expansion zones are spread out. What? A Shadowlands thing, right? where expansion zones are all separate from each other. I don't think that'll happen. After, after Shadowlands, I don't think that's happening for a long time. Okay. Um, on Karesh, we'll be seeing new sites and new monsters, while the South Seas will be more familiar with new lore for existing races, factions, and creatures. At the start of the expansion, you're asked by Turalyon if you want to fight Ashara's forces or the Shadow Guard. If, for example, you pick the South Seas, you will unlock Karesh at 80, and the leveling storylines will become level 80 content. Nice idea. Regardless of which you pick, world quests and max level stories are unlocked for both landmasses at level cap. There are two raids at launch with five bosses, lo both five bosses long. Hey, I like this idea. Like, I don't believe it's true for one iota of a second, but I'm not a thousand percent against it. They are the equivalent uh, of equivalent tier, but offer different items and fill different equipment slots. On Azeroth, we have blood... <laughs> So if you're a paladin, you only want to do the Koresh raid. And if you're a priest, you only want to do the South Seas raid. It's like, can't get any fucking priests for our Koresh raid for some fucking reason. <laughs> Incursion zones. 
Multiple zones are being revamped using assets that have been in the works for years. These zones are for max level and have two phases, peaceful and incursion cycles. They can be activated by talking to a bronze dragon representative. The peaceful version shows all that has changed since Battle for Azeroth and has new quests and world quests. The incursion cycles uh, version has a large scale effort to push back the void with automatically formed raid groups. Uh, does this sound a bit like uh, what happens in, um, I want to say Guild Wars 2? Does this sound a bit like Guild Wars 2 content? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not massively familiar with Guild Wars 2, but I feel like that's something they do in their open world stuff. Um, BFA did kind of do it as well with Warfronts, yeah. New races. Now, this is the good stuff, right? This is the good stuff. There are two new races and two allied races. Protectorate Ethereal and Coil Fang Naga. There always comes a stage in these ray in these leaks where they get bored. <laughs> there is always a stage, and you there's like a line, and you can see it. There's always a stage where they've had like a legit believable idea for a leak, but then they get bored after a couple of paragraphs, and you start getting shit like this. In lieu of starting zones, they are unlocked like allied races, no reputation requirement. Both of these quest chains take you through Outland to recruit allies to fend off the void. Uh, you At this stage, you also like... <laughs> at this stage, you've also got to kind of ask yourself, under what circumstances would you know so much about the new expansion? Like, expansion leaks that have this much detail in it, by definition, are unbelievable. You know, like, you got to keep it simpler than this, stupid. you got to keep it way, way simpler than this. You've got to keep it to the kind of thing that I could believe you would have seen from like half a leaked presentation or like some fucking, you know, like advertising that got sent to your printing company or something like that. This shit is too detailed. Uh, you know, this is where it gets into fanfic and like so obviously so as well. Um, Aka Zamakarax Dimensional Creation Tools. This is the new main mini game added to the expansion. Think of this like a cross between the Warcraft 3 Starcraft 2 map editor and the Cryptic's player made content creator. By doing content throughout the world and purchasing assets from the trading post. <sighs> Sorry, my brain, I'm, I like, I'm fried, I'm fried. I don't know if I can read any more words. You will be able to earn objects and landscapes to create custom zones you can share with your friends. Whether you want to create a hometown for your character, a place to hang out with your guild, a role-playing location, or even a dangerous challenge for your friend to survive, you will be able to unlock most creature models, objects, <laughs> I can't, I can't. I'm so, so I can't, I'm sorry. I can't anymore. I'm done for the day when it comes to leaks. I can't do any more leaks today. I can't do any more leaks today. I was into this one at first, and then we got to play playable ethereals and like world editor creators for players. And I'm like, I just, I just can't anymore. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm leaked out. <laughs> I am drained. This leak monkey is fully drained. <laughs> Had this in the first half, can't lie. I mean, I never thought it was a real leak, obviously, but at least it was an interesting fake leak at first. But now, oh, it gets to playable ethereals and I'm just like, I'm basically done. That's, that's a guaranteed way to make me stop reading any fake leak is playable ethereals. So I'm sorry, whoever you were, I'm sorry, guy. Some just no. That's a that's a two out of ten. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Uh, 
Well, there we are. Can we do some actual well stuff now? I'd really appreciate that. Thank you.